Okay, so we just basted our turkey for the last time. It is beautiful and brown and golden, and that skin's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna teach you. Are all. we gonna fight over the skin? I mean, How are we gonna do this? Well, there's like a decent amount. We can just cut it in half and both rip it off. Whoa, whoa. Um, I'm gonna teach you how to make Omi's garlic green beans. Omi's my German grandmother. Oh. Do you have a like a what do you call your grandma? We what call did her you call nanny. Her? We don't. I am of German descent. You are? I'm German-Irish. I'm 50% German. I had no idea. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't have, like, a fancy German grandma, but... Well, it's just not a fancy German grandma. She just makes really yummy green beans. But it's garlic, olive oil, tons of Parmesan, salt, pepper, and butter on any kind of veggie. You can steam it, you can roast it, you yeah. can saute it. I and see you do this. That's basically what we're doing. So these are French green beans. Okay, do we leave the little thingies on? Yes. Okay. So easy, you can buy them prepped just like this. They're Gorgeous. called Harry Colbert's. So we're just gonna take these, let's throw them in here actually okay. just for ease, and then we'll use this for something else. I'm gonna put them into some boiling water and we're gonna blanch them. So no snapping in half, we're no. moving them long. so okay. easy. How hot is this? Okay, great. She's boiling. We're in a good place. These are just gonna go in here, and literally we're just kind of steaming them, blanching them, boiling them until they're full. But we want tenor. some firmness. Yeah, we don't want them to be overcooked. We okay. just want it to be bright green still. Now we are going to make this little garlic situation. So I'm gonna give you these. There's an aggressive amount of garlic in this. Okay, are do we using like, all of this? I love garlic. Let's do like five or six cloves. I'll give you this here. Let's. I'm gonna show you how this you want to chop one, I'll put it in here. Or you want me to chop one? You do this. Okay. But like, look at it with the paper. Okay. It's so easy. Just shove it right in there. Yep. I like to radiate garlic at all times. Right. So you're healthy. You're healthy. I mean, I'm... <laughs> garlic is flying. Sorry, bro. <laughs> okay, so just, you know, four, five, six. This is an aggressive amount of garlic. Like I said, you could tone it down. But Omi loves garlic. Okay. And Omi knows what's up. Okay. So all this is gonna go in here. I'm also gonna grab a shallot. We'll slice that up. And I brought you some red pepper flakes because red pepper flakes and Maldon, I think, are staples to any kitchen. Yep, I agree. I use them all the time. Do you want me to start working on this shallot? Sure. We're just gonna put a little bit of red pepper flakes in there. It, a little bit goes a long way. Not too much. Okay. May, tell May I love her and I... Okay. <laughs> These are too spicy for her. You could also very easily leave them out. that. Okay. So you're going to slice that. The green beans are Am going... I doing the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to know an easy way to take off the paper? Yes, I feel you judging me. No, I'm not judging you. I don't <laughs> judge my friends. If you cut it in half that way, you then you can me. like... Never. Okay. I'm never going to judge you. Except for like, you know, the mustard over ketchup. <laughs> Here, you slice that one, okay. I'll slice this one. This will go straight in here. And we're gonna saute the garlic and the shallots and the red pepper flakes before we add the blanched green beans. Okay, is that all you wanna do to no more chopping? Yeah, Just no, that's perfect. Slice. Very good. Thank you. Okay, so over here, we have a little bit of olive oil. You wanna bring that whole bowl over? Okay. I'm gonna turn this on. And just dump this in. Here you go. Perfect. And we're gonna add a little bit more olive oil and just let that saute. And here's the key, when you're doing garlic, you don't wanna overcook it. Like, you don't wanna get it too brown. You're just gonna cook it until it's like lovely and fragrant. Okay. So let that roll for a second. You can add a little salt in there to begin with too. Okay, so this is just starting to saute. It's lovely and fragrant. You wanna pick those up and drop them in? Yes. I'm gonna get a little bit of a lemon and just cut this in half. Okay, so this is insane. Go ahead and take two of those okay. and just juice it right in there. Right, okay. You could add some lemon zest if you wanted to, but the juice is really gonna give it a ton of flavor. Perfect. Close, right? Yeah, that's great. And just let it kind of continue cooking for 60, 90 seconds, just so that like it soaks up all that yummy garlic and shallot goodness. Okay, so this literally is done. Those Wait, cook for so like easy. eight to ten minutes. Sa saute the ga garlic and shallot. Okay, let's turn this off. Okay, we crushed it. Look at this beautiful bird. She is gorgeous. Oh, so let's remove this from here. Okay. See if I can do this without like spilling I all. I can over. help you on the side. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay. Wow. Her teamwork. Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah. We're gonna let that sit there and rest. I'm gonna move this, and we're gonna plate everything else up. Okay. What are you most excited about to eat and what are you most thankful for? Oh, okay. I think I'm most excited to eat the creamed kale <laughs> and the sweet potatoes, but that bird smells delicious, but I loved all the sides. And 
I am so appreciative of my family and like as crazy as the world is right now, like all the other people that make my family go round. So yeah. like, like the extended family. Yes, like just, I just feel very appreciative to have the people in my life that I have and to have them as, you know, sounding boards and comfort and community. You have a pretty incredible team. I really also, do. Also, we have not touched on the fact that you are a CMO. So I am CMO, which means Chief Mom Officer of Carter's, and I'm getting to be very creative and design like capsule collections. Okay, so the crispy lemon pango topping is on top of that cream kale. Yeah, so good. It's insane. You put the sweet potatoes in there. I'm gonna get a little bit of melted butter. We're just adding a little more butter. We just want a little bit more flavor. And then the last thing we have to do, well, two things. We're gonna slice up that turkey and we You're have, doing that, right? Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> Literally the scariest part of any Thanksgiving to cut open the bird and just like make sure it's perfectly, perfectly cooked. That's gorgeous. Okay. We made a lot of sweet potatoes. We did, we That's did. Perfect. We're gonna we'll have save leftovers. the rest for leftover. All right, these green beans. <gasps> and get all that garlicky shallot stuff out of there. Gorgeous. Oh my god. Are they good? Yeah. And now we can do the maldon. Like this is the real time to do maldon. So just give everything a little sprinkle. Here, you want to pour this butter on top of the sweet potatoes? I do. And then we'll do the turkey. Okay, we have to we have to try everything. Here's a little little spoonful. Oh, thank you. Whatever one. Those are sleeper hits. That is so good. It's and delicious. honestly, it's perfectly sweet. Mm hmm It's perfectly sweet. And that okay, smoky wait. bit, okay. I'm I need, taking a big bite. I need your facial reaction okay. to this. Okay, Am I, is it hot? No. It's warm, but it's not gonna burn you. I know. I know, it's so good. That's not right. I know. <laughs> Whoa. In the oven as a dip on game day, guys, this will go very far. And then these are, mm. These are, these are my favorite. Mm. How healthy is that? Like, it's just a nice, like, California nod to a green bean casserole. I mean, she's a spread. She's a spread. I'm also thankful for all of this. Like, this is gonna make my Thanksgiving so stress-free. I know. Are you gonna make all this? I wanna make all of this. And I get to do it with my mom. I love that. So this turkey, we already removed the bone on the bottom of it. So we can just take our knife and very carefully, don't not to cut ourselves, slice it at an angle. And like, look at that herby mixture, both on top of the skin and under the skin. But this is beautiful. And then I'm just gonna slide my knife under the whole thing and transfer it right here. Gorgeous. It is. Wait, hold on. Rearrange. No. Oh, we get to do this now? We need to try a little bit of the... Yep. Mm. I know. I know. Come on. <laughs> You're lying to me. The citrus, the herb, the herb, the salt, olive it's, oil. It's so good. I know. This is the, the same little kind of, of fat underneath. The, like, uh, come on. It's, it's very good. It's next level. It's what I do on my Show actual, us like, your styling. What's giant gonna happen bird. Here. Okay, so we just got those. We'll add some rosemary. This is leaves, stunning. This is so in. easy and stunning. I mean, ta da! Mm -hmm. This is a spread. I know. I'm really proud of us. We're gonna eat all this, right? We nailed it. Yeah, we are gonna eat all this. I mean, you're gonna eat all this. <laughs> and you're gonna watch. <laughs> Gabby, thank you for helping me you are with welcome. this meal. Now I, I know what to do for Thanksgiving. This is what friends are for. Talk to me about this situation you have over here. It's beautiful. Okay, I set the table. Tell me about what you did. Okay, I know that beautiful. you're also a professional at doing this. <laughs> Um, I have a little bit of a narrow table, so we get very cozy here on, mm -hmm. on big dinner nights. Um, but not at the napkins, which is very, like... I love a linen napkin, though. Love but, a linen like, this napkin. this is cute. This is cute and easy. Roll you it You literally up. just tie it. You just tie it. I'm like a you just You can put, like, a little sprig of herb in here. Do you do name tags, or does everyone sit where they want to sit? Usually, I like everyone to sit where they want to sit because it's kids and yeah. stuff like that. Um, but that was it. Like a couple of like cute little vegetables or pumpkins. It's gorgeous. You're and, gonna like, crush it. it. Cheers I to us. I know. Thank you so much for all of this. Thank you for doing it with me. This I feel so like fun. I get to like carry some of these tips through just normal life too. And then next year we'll do it all over again, and we'll bring Poppy and May and all the kiddos. I can't wait. I love you. I love you too. Oh, happy Thanksgiving. Oh, happy Thanksgiving. Cheers. Seriously, one of my favorite holidays. Oh. You're the best.